Hi everyone, my name is Kyle Kennedy and I'm a second year human nutrition and dietetics student and I'm now going to talk through the work I've been doing and how this satisfies each common good attribute form. The four forms that were required of me to complete were confidence, active global citizenship, responsible leadership and entrepreneurial mindset. I'm going to take a look at confidence first. For the confidence attribute form, I selected my work as a volunteer for the brilliant charity Kindness. My role can be briefly summarised as distributing various provisions such as food, water, clothes and hygiene products. The impact that I had through this role can be described as assisting a great charity in their mission to help those most in need. In this role, I made a point to listen to the service users and have conversations with them as this may be something they do not experience often. Obviously, the first priority for a lot of these people was not how healthy was the food, but in the event I was asked about healthy food choices, I was more than happy to draw from my knowledge and knowledge of nutrition and dietetics to explain. This activity was the most illuminating for me, as nutrition and dietetics student it is quite easy to read statistics concerning food deprivation, but it is another thing to witness the de devastation and pain a lot of these people suffer, and I was sincerely grateful to have the opportunity to help assist in kindness in their mission. Touching on some points about kindness, in their own words, Kindness Homeless Street Team Glasgow SCIO is a voluntary charity dedicated to supporting and lifting people in Glasgow and surrounding areas. And as I mentioned previously, they have a soup kitchen team to which I was a volunteer for six months, which distribute provisions in George Square. Moving to active and global citizenship, my activity for this attribute was my work as Glasgow's and West of Scotland's nominated area community champion for Sainsbury's. For many nominees in Glasgow and the West of Scotland, I was selected to spearhead and champion healthy eating in the Glasgow and West of Scotland area. My role, broadly speaking, was to manage a £26,000 budget and design activities and donations for this budget to be spent meaningfully. Another component of my role was to identify charities for grants and support them through the grant nomination process. My impact through this role can be demonstrated by the statistics from my area so far. That I identified and supported 26 individual grant nominations, that as an area we donated approximately £26,000 to different charities to support their actions of, as of today. That we delivered a multiplicity of activities with the primary function of promoting healthy eating. My impact through this role can be further demonstrated by a generous testimonial from the store manager of the Sainsbury store I work in. Here is a photo of me explaining the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic sugars using a game and a collection of resources from the British Dietetics Association. Looking to the attribute of responsible leadership, in my first and now second year of uni, I have been elected to be one of two class representatives with a human nutrition and dietetics degree at GCU for the class of 2021. My role was to raise issues that students of my class had and have concerning four elements of what is referred to as a student learning experience academic support and guidance, employability and skills development, learning and teaching process, learning resources and facilities and assessment and feedback. The impact of my role as class representative is best and nicely highlighted by a testimonial from the programme lead of the course. Reflecting now on the final attribute form, entrepreneur, um, entrepreneurial mindset, for this attribute, I included two activities, my role as area community champion and an article I authored last year on the topic of binge drinking and alcohol misuse with a focus on students. My role of area community champion, I previously described, however, there was a challenge I faced in this role, engagement of stores. A design solution involving different means of communication, such as the creation of a document, an informal message via a store manager, one-to-one -one meetings with all 26 managers and the creation of a presentation in that order. It was only once I started sitting down with each manager that engagement improved and the presentation I created fostered this further. This was an important moment for me during my role and a challenge that I will reflect on with respect to communication skills. The activity that should have a greater focus is this article I wrote. The impact this article has had is probably the hardest to demonstrate, but there are a few points that can't be disputed. That I rose awareness of the public health issue of alcohol misuse in adolescents and young adults, that I critically examined the issue of binge drinking and highlighted solutions that we can collectively take, and that I highlighted a range of services that those suffering from alcohol misuse can engage with. Here shown is the introduction and a snippet of the preamble of my article. I highly suggest you take a look if you're interested in this issue. 
summarise, I had a wide scope of influence on various aspects of the common good. Through my role as a kindness volunteer, I demonstrated that I can challenge myself and continually learn from the experience while becoming a change maker and making a positive difference through my work with kindness. Through my role as a Sainsbury's Area Community Champion for Glasgow, I demonstrated that I can recognise and actively seek to address global social trends and challenges while exploring social problems and acting to build a more just and sustainable society. Through my role of authoring an article for the British Dietetics Association, I demonstrated that I can create, create solutions and put these into practice in response to identified real world problems while thinking creatively, critically and divergently, drawing on a range of ideas and unexpected connection. And finally, through my role as a human nutrition and dietetics class representative, I, demonstrate, I demonstrated and demonstrate that I can exercise empathy, resilience and professionalism while working collaboratively towards a common vision and goal. Thank you.